everyone and welcome back to another cross out episode oh boy oh boy cross out is finally open battle so don't waste your time join us and check this game out so we have new faction called Stefan Wolves the leader is Iron Hand is very cool looking guy and the design of this faction is actually pretty satisfying. If you look at the pots, you can see them. They're kind of looking cool. And it has very interesting weapons. And legs also. Ooh. So yeah, let's test them out. So, this gun called uh, Caucasus, it's basically automatic machine gun. Uh, you don't have to click anything, it will shoot by itself. So this gun is actually pretty useful for raids as uh, convoys and base defenses. Uh, you don't need to do anything actually, just drive. Firing speed is stable, you cannot change it. Uh, infinity bullets, of course. But yeah, you better use it against bots, not players. Because in PvP, you have no chance with this gun. I mean, they will eat you alive. So, but it's just perfect. I'm gonna use it in raids, like literally. It's just what I need. I'm I'm tired to clicking every time to kill a fucking boat. I prefer Spectra instead of this. Cuz Spectra has more damage. So, as I said earlier, don't use it in PvP battles. Only use it in raids. This gun will save you from troubles. Next gun. Next gun called Clarnet Tau Unguided Rocket So it's kind of manual homing missile You clicking right Oh my god Nailed it So right click to mouse and it launches missile And you have to control it with A and D No W and S Those keys doesn't work for this You guide it and boom it does quite a lot of damage. More than Pyre Launcher, if you remember that. So if you're lucky and you got Corpus Shots, you're the king. Let's launch it. Boom. Thousand damage. It's like... I think it's very OP actually. So it has 15 seconds of reloading time and 7 seconds flying distance. Now, if you click right click again, it will launch higher speed. And I think they might nerf the damage because it's very high, like literally. 1000 is not a joke. Oh my god, did you see that? So yeah, let's go to next weapon. So this weapon called Mandrake, it's relic weapon and it's kinda some sort of artillery system. So let's test it out. You're holding your left mouse button and pick a target. As you can see, actually it has to turn red when I, when I see the target, you know? They need to add this uh, color changing feature. But, oh, but uh, yeah, range is pretty far, like look at this. You could shoot someone at the end of the map, but 
As you can guess, it's very hard to hit them, especially when they're moving. So, imagine this is the enemy and he's capping the base. Yeah, this is madness. And the reload time is not that, uh, you know, not too long. But yeah, as I told, you can't hit moving vehicles, which means nobody is going to stop. But you know, this weapon is actually pretty cool against campers. You know, those guys type of with cannons or rail guns you see them aim and fire no more camping so let's try to shoot there the forest distance yeah Very interesting and very different for this game. Finally some different stuffs. And good news for campers. Mechanical legs. They're finally in this game. So if you remember, when shooting from cannon, even tracks can save you from bumping. You know, recoil. This time, with those babies, there is no absolutely zero recoil absolutely so you can even hit them with full accuracy while moving so yeah it's kinda celebrating for campers uh, speed is not bad it depends on weight, of course. Also, what is cool about those legs, uh, you see the corpus is too high. And you can use it uh, as an advantage. You can put guns 1 MG down and 1 MG up. That would be a very cool looking vehicle. I'm very excited about your creations. What you gonna do, guys, with these legs? Some cool designs. I would like to see them. One neck has more structure points than a cannon. So you don't want waste, to waste your time shooting those legs off. Because it's going to be too long. So never shoot legs. Take out weapons first. Then shoot at the corpus. Look, I can even ram with this thing. Holy moly almost uh, twice as higher than this uh, than this build look at this you can actually put weapons under this vehicle <laughs> I can't even think about it it would be so epic looking so basically this is it and by the way uh, this is the first in this game in Steppenwolf's faction you will see this cabin it's called humpback as you can see and this is the first cabin that has you know some bonus capability so i would like to test this cabin in future and see what i can do with it we have apc wheels uh, structure and mass is kind of close to twin wheels of scavengers faction if you remember still looking for the cool and finally yeah we talk about everything finally we have sidekick drone sidekick drone they're actually drawn with wheels i'm gonna show you that oh look at this thing
So this boy has uh, two sidekick drones. Let's test them out. They have a Spectra gun. Uh, which is kinda... Yeah, not bad. But turret drones uh, make more damage, I think, yeah. I would like to test them in my next video. By the way, check this build, guys. I made it out. Uh, you can see parts from Stefan Wolf's faction, as you can see. Wheels and cannons are from Scavenger's faction. So yeah, it's kind of heavy panzer style. We have also one powerful engine. No, that's not a joke. Uh, the name is Powerful Engine, as you can read. So, and one uh, heavy generator that gives us uh, two energy points. Also, two ammo packs for more bullets. Yeah, so let's check this out. Come on. Boom! <laughs> Four kills. It's still functional. Where are you going? <laughs> I can't get up. We trapped here. Come on. Yes. Oh, come on. Boom. Yes. Five kills, boys. Five kills. Okay. I almost thought he's, we're gonna lose. He's gonna cap base or something, you know? <laughs> kind of lucky.
five kills again. And this is a new map. It kind of looks cool. Oh, everyone passing. Take his gun! No more ammo. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're capturing the base, good. Come on, bot, come on. Yeah, we got this. Good job. GG. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, I'm gonna see you next time, peace!